<clears throat> All right, so this is a video is will hopefully assist you in making a a light sequence for your a, you know for your APC or launch pad or anything. But I guess for you know if you're utilizing the APC for making a drum sequencer like I did in the previous video or or any other kind of device doing whatever you're doing. If you just want some blinking lights to go with your sequence, here's how you do it in Ableton. So we just load up a new project, or your existing project, or whatever. You're just gonna be adding a track. <clears throat> Could be audio or MIDI, um, but I'm gonna use a uh, MIDI track just because I find it easier. If it's an audio track, you just have to use an audio sample and just mute the actual audio. And just utilize the actual length of the sound rather than the sound itself. That's why we're just going to use MIDI because there's no sound unless we tell it to have sound. So let's make a clip. You can right click, insert MIDI clip, or Control Shift M for a Mac, PC, whatever I'm using here. Or uh, I guess Command Shift M for MIDI clip. <coughs> so we insert a clip and we need it to be a specific length. Uh, now right now it's a whole beat, so if we wanted the the lights to blink at a full beats value, then we would just leave it like this. But most likely you're gonna want something shorter, like an actual sequencer, let's say eight, you know, eight eight beats at eighth note value, or you know, if your steady beat is going at 120 or 130 ish, you know, you got your steady beat there, then you think of the inner beat, the eighth beat, the eighth note. So that's what I'm going to be doing is an eighth note here. So I mean, you can do whatever length you want. Really. <clears throat> so to make it an eighth note, we'll bring it to 1.1.3 because that was a full beat or a full bar, which is 4.4 four, and 120. So that's, there's your eighth note length. Now we need to set the uh, launch uh, follow action. So we open up the launch area here in the clips section. You know, if you're over here with the, the instruments and the effects, that's the wrong area. But it is fun, equally, equally fun. But over here is where we need to be in the clip area. And then you uh, set the, the length. Right now it's set to one bar, zero beats, and zero sixteenths. We need it to be zero bar, zero zero beats and two sixteenths or an eighth note. Alright, and then we need the follow action to be to play next. So what that means is this clip is when it's done playing, it's eighth note length of time. Forget, there's no sound, it's just time. When it's done playing that eighth note, it's gonna play the next clip and you know as long as we want. We want it to be eight eight notes, because we're gonna go across the board here on the APC or launch pad or whatever with eight, eight buttons and we'll just make that one once we have it this length and with this follow action then we'll just duplicate this seven times so now we have eight scenes in one track and this can be you know in your normal session like I've got it set up with my drum sequencer and a bunch of other stuff uh, multiple tracks. Whatever. So now, with this setup, you're going to be able to utilize one row for the sequencer lights and then the majority of your area for launching clips. So now, what we need to do this works already. So you see the lights are going, the metronome. Alright, so that works. Well, we want it to go this way. Right now it's going that way because that's APC lines up with the scenes and this, all that went up. We can just scoot over here. But regardless, the, we're going to map out this bottom row so that we can get the lights to go this way. So what we do is we just map this, Control M, click here to get MIDI map mode, whatever. Right click, Control click, whatever your thing is. All right, then we just map it down. One. Two. 
Okay. Now, get out of mini-map. Control M, Command M, whatever. Alright, now, <clears throat> let's just move over here so we're not looking at that one anymore. And then we just hit play here. And, you know, it should be mine, which would be. So you can have all kinds of loops and stuff. And you got your light going. Boom. So, like, I got my drum machine over here. Bass drum, snare, open hat, whatever, hats, whatever. And I can still get my scenes. And then, you know, trigger stuff. So, there's an easy, you know, sequencer, light pattern thing. To keep you on beat. Without the metronome thingy. And you can even make, make them slower, too. Like, I got another one with going at, like, four bars, like, right here. So, now it's playing something else. It actually plays. So, like, you can make this actually play something. And I'm thinking about setting it up to where you can do a monomy style. And, like... I don't know. Something like that. We'll see. But you can, you can put an instrument there. But right now, it doesn't have any sound. It's just making lights. So, enjoy. And. Oh, before we get into this, you have to, you know, know that you, the APC is normally just a control surface. So, if you want to utilize the MIDI mapping functionality, you have to. Enable that here in preferences. Over right here, MIDI. See, right? I have it on, in, and out for the APCs, MIDI functions. If you're just using it as a control surface, you can have all that off and just have it set up right here, and it just works as is. But if you want to use this MIDI mapping too, you need to have these two lights on, these two. So the remote on and off for our output, in and output. So once you have, make sure you have that, then you can MIDI map, MIDI map it. So 